Hi, I'm Chris Harrison. Through services like GPS and Wi-Fi, devices can now locate where they are. But this is fairly coarse. Devices can tell how they're placed within these locations. So, for example, when you're at work, is your phone in your bag, in your pocket, or resting on the surface of your desk? If devices could be made placement aware, there's some very useful applications that we could enable. And I'm going to briefly talk about four example ideas. First up is intelligent information display. For example, if my phone knows it's resting on my desk at work, I would want it to display my meetings for the day instead of the time or screensaver. On my desk at home, maybe my grocery list or to-dos would be more useful. Alternatively, if the phone is in my pocket, the screen should be off and saving its batteries. Another benefit of placement awareness is intelligent auto-locking. Locking out the keypad and screen is important when a device is in a bag or pocket. But when simply resting on a table, when accidental input is much less likely, locking the screen just adds extra clicks to every interaction. Alerts too can be made more intelligent. For instance, vibration works best when close to the user, but is less useful in bags and very energy expensive. This is also true of desks, where an auditory alert would work just as well. Also, many devices flash the screen when alerting the user. This is great when rustling through my bag or when it's sitting on my desk, but totally unnecessary when in my pocket. We can also imagine users wanting to bind particular alerting behaviors to certain locations. Returning to the desk at work example, I might want to have no auditory or vibratory alert, which would disrupt my office mates. Instead, an extra strong visual alert might work well since it's sitting right in front of me. Another idea would be for phones to keep track of how long it takes for users to get to the device in different placements. Perhaps jacket pockets can be reached within two rings, but your backpack takes five or more. With this data, phones could intelligently choose how long to ring for, giving more time to less accessible locations and shorter times to those where if we were to ignore it, we wanted to go to voicemail right away. Finally, there are interesting security settings that could be automatically set in different locations and placements. For example, when working on my laptop at home, a secure environment, I would never want my computer to lock the screen. At work, maybe my laptop should lock after 15 minutes of inactivity. If the laptop is on an unknown surface, like at a cafe, I would want it to lock after five minutes, automatically use my VPN for internet access, and turn off any shared services and directories like my music library. There are several ways placement could be detected. In our proof of concept sensor, we use five light emitting diodes, infrared, red, green, blue, and ultraviolet. Each lights up briefly, and two photosensitive elements capture the intensity of reflected light off nearby surfaces. We also capture ambient light. This data is passed into a machine learning classifier which recognizes the material from a library of previous encounters. Materials could be added to this library after perhaps three instances. Users are then prompted to bind behaviors to this particular placement. The sensing cycle can happen very quickly, faster than the human eye can perceive. We continually sense in this demo, but devices would perhaps only need to do this once every five seconds, since placement doesn't change that rapidly. Power draw is negligible, about 20 milliamps when running continuously. If pulsed, the technique would only consume a fraction of a milliamp hour, easily offset by energy saved through placement-aware device behaviors. For more details on the sensor and its operation, please refer to our WIST 2008 paper.